Pisces, welcome. Doing your heart spread. It's a very special timeless heart spread. I'm taking a step back. Um, normally do the Meet the Soulmate read, and that is up on my channel. Always on Saturday is Aquarius Pisces Day. And so from last Saturday, you can see the end of November, Meet the Soulmate, where I simply describe the one that I'm asking Spirit, who's best for you. So I describe it as the most painless, non-triggery, most positive reading, <clears throat> certainly that I do. Um, ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck. But today and this week, uh, for each sign, I'm going in and looking at your own relationship with love and romance. I don't want to see the bottom deck where I start, but I have pre shuffled a lot. So uh, that's what I'm looking at, your own relationship, your anima, your animus. I already looked at the heart spread as the first and seventh house energy and astrology, the seventh house where we project typically what it is we desire, we want out of a relationship. Um, and did it again, <laughs> it'll get it. <clears throat> um, so it's kind of what I describe what I'm trying to do with this reading. The Jungian concepts of the uh, anima, animus come to mind as this concept, internalized concept we have of what is the, the ideal masculine, ideal feminine, um, one maybe what we aspire to unconsciously, it's the unconscious energy, the other uh, what we desire unconsciously and, and uh, what we could, whatever we consider the opposite of what we desire. So um, that's what I'm trying to look at here, uh, particularly if we're manifesting, so it's kind of a manifesto read. Um, so if, if you are, it's like consider it like a tweaking, you know, like when you ask your computer to tweak uh, things, see if the, anything needs tweaking. We're asking spirit to help us with this uh, relationship we have with love and romance, guys. So here you are. Wow. What a start, Pisces. Coming in with the world. This is your energy in and around relationships and love. Typically, now I would look at your other person within this energy, but now... Uh, this is how you are in terms of uh, manifesting. Well, I mean, you're there. Um, you're someone that's completed a cycle. I mean, I think we're kind of seeing a lot of that now. I mean, for a Pisces, this is a big deal. Um, Pisces 12,000 does represent completion anyway. Um, the next card would be the Fool card. I'd love to see that come out here. <laughs> I didn't love it. I don't know. Uh, but... Um, Wow, this is someone's operating an extremely high uh, energy I'm talking to. Hello, respect. Um, so, you know, you don't get to the world by, you know, resting on your laurels. And um, you did something to get there, guys. Let's see what can possibly be your advice. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Well, I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's kind of like the Aquarius read of different cards with the same theme. Right now, it just feels like extremely solid with the Knight of Pentacles looking at the world card. Now we look at the bottom, and now we have the King of Swords. So that's really using utmost wisdom. Maybe that's how you got to be to the world, by using your nugget. <laughs> you know, uh, really making strong and good decisions, having strong boundaries, you know, um, and making uh, your way. And this would be in terms of love and relationships. So, you know, um, um, maybe you got there without there's too much uh, hardship because this night... Uh, swords uh, carved a clear path for you but you the knight of pentacles looking back I mean it's the most solid knight in the deck um, I like the fact that it's looking back it shows that you're grounded it's as if the you're saying to yourself like right now I kind of know with this looking back I have to reverse them to show you right now uh, I've just leveled up and I don't want to go out looking for what I was looking for I'm just leveled up I don't want to go out looking, and when you do, you're going to take your time. You're not going to go out with, the, you know, your skirt over your head. <laughs> you know, it's going to be very uh, sensible. Like, no mate, no one will probably know you're looking. You're just kind of like open yourself at first. But I think you know, like, uh, you want to make sure when you go, when you manifest, it's manifesting from this new level here, higher spiritual vibration, maybe considerably. So a lot of that going on. And thank you. Hey, check out Soul Family Read. It's a daily collective read for whoever resonates around love and uh, relationship, but more focusing on manifestation, spirituality. You may uh, relate to that. I got a feeling. Got ourselves probably a spiritual. Look at this. Very, I consider this a very spiritual card. 
Hey, and that's the hermit and the lights shining on the world. You've got to be the world by doing the right thing. Now, normally this is your energy of how you're feeling about your person. And here it's uh, how you're relating to your own relationship with love and romance. And I think it's like you've got the world by going in and being the hermit and looking at yourself, pointing the finger at yourself. You didn't go in and say, well, they didn't do this and they did that and the narcissist that and the narcissist this. You went in and said, what's my role? What do I need to change? What do I need to know about myself? And you knew if you've got the world, what a combination, the, the world and the hermit, you damn well know yourself now. And that's why you want to take your time in terms of this manifestation. Maybe what you're looking for is something solid and earth energy too, guys. Think about that. This baby in general, looking for this earth energy. This is not that kind of read about another person. But I already feel like there's earth energy out there coming for you. You know, that earth energy would appreciate the world. Uh, you would be very grounded and mature. Nine of Swords. Wow. Difficult energy. Hmm. So Nine of Swords. Let me show that to you. And then, I'll be honest, Spirit, I'm having a little trouble understanding how that fits. And then the em Emperor. Now this normally is the energy of advice from Spirit as to how you should react to your other person that might best serve the relationship and serve you, okay? Um, let me look to at what the advice is here. Normally this is the advice for your person and how best to react towards you, but it's very subtle here. And here it's more about advice uh, for this whole manifestation process for your own relationship. And very much why I need to see it goes now with the Nine of Swords. Um, I got a feeling that this is one thing that's kind of bugging you. You know, it, it, it's like that energy, like you left for vacation and then suddenly you're like, did I turn the coffee pot off? Oh God, you know, and you're thinking and you're like, is there, I should have left keys with a neighbor because then I could be calling them to go check, but I did it. And it's kind of noodling you. Noodling is a word that old people use. Um, and you know, it's kind of stuck, something stuck in your head there. And um, this could also refer to over here is kind of how people might see you. So people might interpret this energy of the hermit um, as that there's something wrong with you. And I don't know, you might have noticed that people are, are asking, like you might say something that's I don't know, introverted, I would probably, this is me, I would probably love it, Pisces, but they may be, or they, their response to you might be, are, are you okay? And if you're like me, it kind of annoys you, because it's like obvious they weren't really comprehending anything you said, so then you're like going, am I not communicating well, or, or what? <laughs> um, because typically this would be something like pretty, pretty important here. Um, so it could be that energy too, um, that there's kind of this painful aspect to the hermit being isolated, but it's apparently what you had to do to be balanced and to be the hermit was you had to isolate. And then again, significantly, you have the two of pentacles coming uh, across from the emperor here. Now this is, uh, these two are gonna relate um, and this is advice from spirit. This is about, um, it's really time to take control of your life, of this internal process. Take like uh, powerful control and it's kind of like time to take action too. The hermit and the world. It's like this, I get this past position, this past, and now you're at this new level, but I think it's kind of new. And so you're kind of like trying to get your bearings Maybe that in itself, too, can be uh, kind of scary, like a bad dream. You know, even when something's good and it could be so different and so new that it causes stress there. Um, but it's kind of like you're being shown you have balance. You're doing everything right. You have the balance, Pisces. And so you can be, and also, in terms of manifestation, I mean, at this point, it should be obvious, I think, with the world. Whenever I see the emperor as advice, don't settle, that's that advice. Do not settle, um, which is should be obvious, right? Now, 
in between the Emperor and the Two of Pentacles is this Queen of Cups energy. So this is the crucible of the heart spread here, the crux, and uh, very important. This is normally advice for the relationship as a whole, the way I see it. Um, but here it's advice for how to best bring the energy that you have around love and relationships in um, um, to the best to the best balance here uh, best balance for you um, so that you can proceed and this is about dropping down into your emotions since this is all internal this is all inside of you um, and it's the first uh, wa um, water we've seen and it's the queen so it's kind of big time drop down into your emotions it's speaking to me about the IC in your astrology chart your natal chart possibly in your progressed um, it's speaking to cancer also in your chart energy also the moon so it could be something going on um, you've been in this hermit energy for a while uh, part of it is when we're in the hermit too it can kind of take us out of emotional energy uh, the emperor energy is not particularly emotional um, so it's like in order to uh, manifest now from this new position uh, maybe kind of the message is, is a heart spread it's kind of corny but kind of what I'm really feeling is now you're going to manifest from the heart and like before maybe you manifested from the head practical thought that was the right thing to do oh they have a good degree and they're good natured and they're easy going and they're, they're okay in the sack and you know and now you're realizing, you know, do not settle and follow your heart impeccably. That's what spirit wants to say. It's kind of like you've got this. I think you already got this. The four pinnacles. Well, so this is kind of going back to the don't settle part. Um, I think this is kind of like play it close to the best. Uh, I got that feeling too that maybe people around you were saying, are you okay? Are you okay? And this is you kind of, uh, I, I see this as, as the outcome. So I'm not sure I want to say this is advice, but uh, keeping to yourself, keeping your energy to yourself. And I'm, I don't see it as a bad thing. It goes with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I also don't see it like actively pursuing you know uh, a love right at this moment which I think is a good thing but you're in the very best position to do so and maybe you haven't really dropped into your heart yet maybe when you do when you do because you know it's kind of contradictory uh, here as an outcome so this is the advice from spirit you don't have to take it but like if you take it you know I think you can get uh, kind of uh, I always, well, <laughs> you're always going to do better if you take spirits advice. I don't know, that's just to be obvious. Now, I'm going to get a, also Ace of Swords, yeah. Um, Ace of Swords to clarify this Four of Pentacles. Um, and this may be, I, I, I didn't want to go this way in terms of being into another relationship, but I think this kind of does represent kind of where you're at, putting it all together, is right now, or you're in the process of, or very recently you did, or you will be very soon, like maybe this weekend, or it's the Sunday here, um, after the full moon, and, you know, this is like cutting somebody off, setting boundaries, uh, because it, it's going with the four pinnacles, so it's not you telling someone you love them, kind of the opposite. But that's what you might need to do, because, you know, maybe this person, while they're facing into the reading, Maybe that's someone you manifested during before you achieved your world. Again, you don't want to manifest again. I think you kind of got this, you know, until you're in this new energy, you know how to handle it, um, and then you manifest because you, you know, you don't, you want to cut off all that stuff from before, which actually is absolutely perfect advice to cut through all the bullshit about the full moon at the 27 degrees Taurus we're just having. So thank you guys. Um, let me know what you think of that. Uh, comments help uh, if you can think of anywhere to share this help me out and share it and if it resonates of course and uh, do uh, give me like thumbs up share tell a friend tell a friend and do subscribe and hit the bell thank you guys